people are struggling to heat their homes. People will die in this country. It's not dramatic, it's the truth. It's a stark warning from United General Secretary Tony Woodley. The cost of fuels dropping, yet energy companies' profits are soaring. If you think that logic is twisted, you're not alone. Charities claim up to three million people are living in fuel poverty. Come on, girls. <laughs> Single mother Colette's fuel bills have doubled in recent months, and with Christmas fast approaching, she feels energy companies have got their priorities wrong. It's a lot of greed, I think, on their behalf. Um, they're probably getting big bonuses for Christmas, um, and they're not thinking about the little man, really, the pensioners and people that, you know, that need the heating and all the rest of it for the winter. And as thermostats are turned down in homes, some MPs and campaign groups are turning up the heat on the government to force energy companies to pass on falling costs to the consumer in a one-off windfall payment. It's right for the government to levy this one-off uh, windfall tax um, and then use the money, A, to help people immediately with their fuel bills, but then also to kick-start an adequately funded programme of home insulation. The campaigners say bills have risen 100% since 2000 and electricity bills are up 61%, taking average household energy bills to £1,200 a year. Yet the price of oil is now just $46 a barrel, $100 cheaper than July. For some, wrapping up warms one way of reducing bills. The other is to switch companies. If my prices did go up considerably, then I'd be looking for where I could get cheaper fuel. Yeah, we shop around. We shop around and see who's offering the best deals. Yeah, it is a huge amount. Um, we try and turn a few more lights off, <laughs> don't we? It's no laughing matter, say those struggling to pay the bills as energy companies count profits of over £5 billion. Paul Harrison, Sky News.